Hey, what's up guys? This is Mr. Jensen with EdTech Integration. So in today's video, we're going to talk primarily about the pros and cons of new quizzes versus classic quizzes in Canvas. Now, it might seem obvious that new quizzes have more features, which is true, but there's a time and place for classic quizzes as well. And in this video, we're going to talk about the pros and cons of each. And then I'm going to tell you at the end which one you should use when. Before we go into all of this, if I'm in my quizzes section here in Canvas on the left-hand side, and I come up here to quiz, add quiz, it's going to ask you classic or new quizzes. Okay. Now, I'm not going to go into how to set up these classic and new quizzes and what to do specifically and all the, the nuances within there. Okay. But if you're interested in checking those things out, you can click on learn more about these differences. Canvas has already set up all of the features and compared and contrast those features between classic and new quizzes. I won't talk about each one of these specifically. I'm really going in and diving into the biggest ones specifically in this video. But you can come down here and if you were curious about which features were in new quizzes versus old quizzes, you can go down here and look at the specific breakdown here. Okay. Again, in this video, I'll talk about the, um, the big ones that really stick out to me. So let's check it out. I'm going to start in on a classic quiz and I'm going to talk about the pros and cons of classic quizzes versus new quizzes. And then after that, I'll go to the new quizzes one. Okay. So first and foremost, what I really love about classic quizzes is that it allows us to have our rich text editor. Okay. Now you can do things like this within new quizzes, but it doesn't allow you um, the options that the rich, rich text editor does. So like, for example, you can bold and italicize and underline and stuff like that in new um, quizzes, but you can't do some of these other options like, you know, access things from Google Apps and make links from Khan Academy. I suppose you could create a link or something like that. Um, the other really powerful thing that we have in addition to this rich text editor is the HTML editor. Okay, so I don't know about you, I use this tons and this is a really powerful tool. This HTML editor allows us to do a lot of other things, more advanced things um, that our new quizzes wouldn't allow us to do. Okay, so this piece here I think is a really powerful piece that new quizzes does not have. Um, going down here, go to questions and go to the bottom here. Although new quizzes has a lot more question types and has some more advanced things that we can do, I really think that there's a lot of options here, a lot of good options that we can get things done. I mean, let's be honest, we can probably get a test done with these options here. That being said, one of the cons here, as I mentioned before, is new quizzes does have more options. They really do. They have options like hotspot and matching and ordering. They have stimulus. Okay. Those are all really powerful tools. Um, but I do, I do like this. Okay. It's not my favorite and I'd love to have those other tools, but it's not bad. Okay. One other thing I like and dislike about new quizzes. So if I go down here is that you can moderate quizzes. So for example, now this, this actually is not a good example because there's five attempts um, for this quiz. So let's say for example, there was one attempt and you had a struggling learner or an ESL student or an IEP student and they wanted to retake the test because it was in their IEP or there was a situation that allowed them to retake a test. You could come over here and you can change the amount of attempts that the student can have. So you can give them one more attempt or two more attempts or three more attempts or whatever it may be. Or a dislike about a classic quizzes that new quizzes does have, it gives you more options within this moderation screen. There's a lot more things that you can do within new quizzes and we'll talk more about that later in the video. Um, in new quizzes within moderation that you cannot do here. The only thing you can really do here is change the amount of attempts. So as I'm transitioning between the screen and the next statistics screen, I'll talk about one thing real quick that new quizzes can't do. Classic quizzes allows you to use third party apps, which basically means that you can use an app or an application that would allow you to lock student screens or prevent them from going to another screen or open new tabs or whatever it may be. New quizzes does not allow you to do that. Okay. Um, one thing, and I think that this is the most powerful thing that classic quizzes has that new quizzes doesn't is this analytics screen. Now, I'm not talking about the average score and, and all these analytics right here. I'm talking about up here. Okay. So one of the pros of classic quizzes is that you can filter your data by section. Okay. Now I don't have any data here specifically, but if I wanted to see how my first period class did, 
compared to my third period class, I can filter that right there in the analytics screen. New quizzes does not allow you to do this. And I would say this is one of the most powerful things that classic quizzes does versus what new quizzes does. You can also download student analytics and item analysis into an Excel file. So if I wanted to compare how my classes did, or if I wanted to be able to do some more advanced features or analytics within Excel, I could download an, a report here and then look at that data individually within Excel. These three things I think are the most powerful features that classic quizzes have and offer that new quizzes doesn't. The ability to filter and the ability to download the data into an Excel file. Okay, so let's go ahead and move over here to a new quiz. So first and foremost, this is a new quiz that I've created. Um, I think this was our chemistry final. First and foremost, one of the things that I love about new quizzes that old quizzes doesn't do is outcomes. Okay, so we can add outcomes, which are standards within our course to quizzes. Okay, we can also add them to specific questions. What this allows our computer to do or the program to do is to calculate outcome analysis. So when we come to reports, and we'll do that in a second, we can see an outcome analysis and we can see a traditional analysis with like, um, you know, percentages and standard deviations and averages and stuff like that. Okay, so outcomes are great. One of the other powerful things that new quizzes does that classic quizzes cannot do is a stimulus. This is a stimulus where you have some kind of graph or information or table or something like that here on the left side. And then you have questions that correspond with this on the right side. Now, as we know, a lot of our standard tests these days have stimulus types questions where they're looking at a graph and or reading a passage or something like that. And then they're answering questions to go along with that. So stimulus questions or stimulus is, is a really powerful thing that new quizzes does that old quizzes or classic quizzes does not. So if I was to add this here, there's a couple of the things that we cannot do on classic quizzes. Hotspot, can't do that. Um, we can't do the ordering one. And then also this matching one here. Okay, so we have a couple new question types that we can use within new quizzes. Okay. I, I do like the format of the layout of new quizzes a little bit nicer, a little bit better than the old quizzes or the classic quizzes. Okay. So let's just go down here. We have a lot more settings. Okay. Now, some of these basic settings like shuffle um, questions and answers, one question at a time, we can do this before. There's a lot of um, really cool things, or really powerful things that we can do in here. For example, we can set time limit restrictions on here. We can allow multiple attempts, but we can also require time between um, attempts. So we can say one day between, one hour between, so on and so forth. Okay. We have a lot more options as far as what we show students, as far as incorrect, correct, things like that. Now, reports. There's some really cool things in here. Now, I don't have, our district doesn't have this set up for us, so we can't use outcome analysis. But you can, if you attach the outcomes or standards to your questions, you would get an analysis right here, which could be really powerful because it would let you know where students are deficient, which outcomes students are deficient in. Okay. So if we come to the item analysis here, we have a pretty awesome analytics page here. So a pro for new quizzes is it gives us it gives us these basic metrics here, but it also gives us some breakdowns that um, are a little bit more advanced, okay? Difficulty index, index, discrimination index, R, P, B, and then mean scores. So we can come down here and we can look at each question and see how students did, okay? So as you can see here, this question here, uh, it's five students answered A, five students answered B, 106 answered C, so on and so forth. So I can come down here and I can look and see how my students did on each question, okay? Here's the big con, and this is, this is the biggest takeaway for me or the biggest downside for me in new quizzes. The fact that I cannot see individual students and I cannot see class data and I cannot download this data into Excel is a huge deterrent to me. Now, Canvas has said that they are going to set this up so that you can do this here in the future. I'm not sure how long that is down the, down the line. Um, you get some really cool analytics, but man, there's some really powerful things missing here, okay? So last thing here I'll talk about is moderation, okay? You can do so much more with moderation here, okay? So we can add accommodations, okay? So such as we can give additional time, we can remove time limits altogether. Um, 
time limit multiplier. So we can give them two times a time, three times a time, so on and so forth. We can come here to moderate and we can give them additional temps. Like I said, we can readjust. And then we can manage their current attempt. So if I click on the, the attempt one, I can come through here and I can regrade and I can change this on the spot. Okay, so again, this would be great for IEP students, students that are struggling or you know just need accommodations in general. Okay, so we can add note or we can add uh, comments here, we can regrade, we can add different points um, depending on what they need. All right, guys, so in conclusion, there's really just three things that would deter you away from using new quizzes. As we saw in the video, there's some really powerful tools that allow us to assess students and look at data within new quizzes. But these three things, if they're important enough to you, would deter you away from or tell you that you needed to use a classic quiz for a specific situation. So the first situation would be if you needed to use a third party application to lock student screen during um, the quiz or the test. New quizzes does not allow you to do this. This is the only, you can only do this within classic quizzes. The second thing that might deter you away from using new quizzes is if you wanted to or you had an affinity towards SpeedGrader. You can use SpeedGrader to grade quizzes within classic quizzes, but you cannot do this within new quizzes. Okay, So if you really like SpeedGrader, for some reason you needed to use SpeedGrader, you can't use this within new quizzes. And the third one, which is probably the one that breaks my heart the most, is if you needed to download data into a, an Excel file or wanted to filter student data or class data, you cannot do this in new quizzes. Now, I'm not sure why this is not a feature yet. It will be a feature in the future, but if you have to use that feature or any one of those features for that matter, um, you might wanna consider using a classic quiz. Other than that, new quizzes is amazing. Um, the stimulus questions are amazing. The hotspot questions are amazing. The settings are awesome. The ability to um, moderate and, and have options within that and then also the settings. There's some really powerful things within that. That basically sums it up. So thank you always for the support. Thanks for watching. Thanks for liking and subscribing. We'll see you guys next time.